Yo guys, what's happening? It's your boy Savage Madden back at it again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Stat Predictor. And before we hop in today's top four base elite tight ends, I have a lot of honorable mentions. A lot of honorable mentions: Zach Ertz, Julius Thomas, Jimmy Graham, Delaney Walker, Jared Cook, Martellus Bennett, Jordan Reed, and Jason Winton. I don't know how many. There's like those are all great tight ends in my opinion. I just picked the top four, but all of those tight ends I feel like also deserve base elites. Definitely. Um, a lot of them have had base elites. I don't know how Madden's going to decide which ones to make base golds because I feel like the tight end position has been so amazing over the past few years. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with the top four that I picked. Starting off with the man from the Kansas City Chiefs, the only receiver, technically tight end though, he's uh, he's the only person that really catches receiving touchdowns other than Jamal Charles out of the backfield when Jamal is healthy. But we got Travis Kelsey. Uh, he's he's doing pretty damn good in Kansas City. 84 speed, 92 catch, 86 route running, 80 run block. He's a great run blocker. 90 spec catch with a 93 catch in traffic. Um, like I said, normally they, they say like, oh, the Chiefs are the only team that really don't throw it to receivers to score touchdowns. And that is true until last year. Jeremy Macklin, of course, did score a couple touchdowns. And I do believe Albert Wilson did have a few as well. But I mm, don't quote me on that. But, yeah, Travis Kelsey, he really does get the job done for the Chiefs. He's an all-around tight end. He's that guy that you need. Um, he might not be the fastest, but he's huge. He's a monster. And he can block really great. He can create them holes with the linemen and help Jamal run up the holes. And you know who else has been doing it great for years? Greg Olson, 88 overall, 83 speed. He is getting older, a little bit slower. 93 catch, 88 route, running. 76 run block. He's a decent blocker. He ain't too bad. 91 spec catch and a 94 catch in traffic i mean i remember in the card art i remember this game i believe that was a that was either a fourth and short or a third and short and i don't even think he knew the ball was coming he kind of just reflexed like he knew that he beat his man and i think he just knew um i think he just knew cam threw the ball to him and he just kind of stuck his hand up out, out of a reflex and he stuck his hand up and the ball landed in his hand and he just gripped it with one hand and they were like man like i just remember the commentators were like obj who and like they were just busting uh greg olson shops and stuff and they were just like damn like this guy is a freak and it was a it was a he's always a great always a great asset on your ultimate team and teams in real life of course but here we go he shined last year. Tyler Eifert, 85 speed, 91 catch, 87 route running, 72 run block, 91 spec catch, 93 catch in traffic. Now, Tyler Eifert might not be the best dude to like put in front of a linebacker and say, go block him for me. But if you say, go run around that linebacker, run a nice little post route, shatter his ankles where he's standing, and then get big for me in the back of the end zone, he'll do that for you. I mean, I between him and now, I mean, they did lose a lot of receivers, like Muhammad Sanu and Marvin Jones both left. But I mean, between him and AJ Green alone, I mean, Andy Dalton, he's going to have a field day this year. They're, they're all three of them are young and they're all growing together. That's a trio to look out for, especially in the passing attack. They're going to be pretty darn tough to stop. And the Bengals, if they knew how to win playoff games, they'd be a pretty, pretty tough team. But we all know number one, Rob Gronkowski, 90 overall, 84 speed, 94 catch, 90 route running, 70 run block, always has really bad run block, 94 spec catch, and 96 catch in traffic. This man is volumes. I mean, truthfully, with Martellus Bennett coming into the Patriots, dude, who do you... Who do you put on who? Where do you go? Who do you cover? I, it's, oh my God. The pay, if Brady wasn't suspended for four games, quote me on this. He could have threw for 6,000 yards easily if he wasn't suspended the first four. But I mean, damn, this Gronk is going to be a freak. I got the free 85 overall Gronk since I did the Gronk solos. I'm excited to see how good that Gronk plays. But I, I think the base Gronk's going to have a 90. But hey, I mean, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know what position you would like to see next. And let me know any tight ends I might have forgot. Even on my honorable mentions, I might have forgot some. So make sure you drop a comment, drop a like, and uh, subscribe if you are new. Like I said, let me know what position you want to see next. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.